In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this AirPods Pro animation on Apple's website inside Figma. Well, first of all, let's talk about how this animation is created. You might think that they animated a 3D model in code, but that's not true. So the way it's created on Apple's website is like this. They animated this 3D model in a 3D design software like Cinema 4D, Blender, etc. And then they rendered it as a sequence of images. What do I mean by that? So here, if I just inspect this page, I'm gonna just right click, inspect. And if I go to sources right here, I can head over to this folder. I can go to large. And as you can see here, we have 64 PNG images. If I click on each of them, you will see that this image changes. So I can go to frame one, frame two, frame three. So basically these images are displayed one after another super fast as you scroll down like this. So you go from this first frame to the second one to the third one and all the way down to the last frame. That's how this animation is created. To replicate it in Figma, first we need to download all these images. You can go ahead and select the first one, right click here and save this frame on your computer and just move on to the second one and just download all of them and put them in one folder or you could install a Chrome extension called Resources Saver. So here I already installed it and if I just open it up here, it allows me to save all the resources used on this page. So I'm gonna click on save all resources. It takes a few seconds and it's done. Now here, if I open this zip file, I can go to this folder and then I can go to this one. I'm gonna open up the media folder and here we have this AirPods Pro animation. I need to open up all these folders. There we go, we have all these images ready. As I said, you can go ahead and save them one by one if you want, but this is a much faster way. All right, now that our images are ready, we need to import them into Figma. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select them all. I'm gonna select these 65 images and drag and drop them into my Figma project. There we go, we have all these images. Now we need to find a way to create that sequence of images. How we can display them one after another quickly. Well, there are many different methods that you can use for this kind of animation and I tried them all. One of the methods is that you can convert all these images into a GIF file and it will be played sequentially. However, this method has some disadvantages and the most important one is that when you convert these images into a GIF file, all these images will be compressed. Therefore, the quality wouldn't be so good. So I wouldn't recommend that approach. The other approach approach is that we can turn all these images into components and then put them inside a component set to use them as variants. This method is the most efficient one. It also comes with some disadvantages, but we will talk about it later. So let's select all these images here. I'm gonna head over to the toolbar right here, open up this drop down menu and just click on create component set, just like this. Now, as you can see here inside this component set, we have 65 different variants and that's exactly what we need. I'm going to rename this component set to AirPod and now we need to go ahead and connect these variants together because we are going to animate them. So I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to head over to the prototype tab here and just connect it to the second one. Here the trigger should be after delay and I'm going to set the delay to 20 milliseconds and the animation should be instant. Do not set it to Smart Animate. It should be instant. Now we need to go ahead and connect the second one to the third one, the third one to the fourth one, and so on. So to accelerate this process, I'm gonna select the first one. I'm gonna click right here to select this particular interaction we just created. I'm gonna copy it, hit Control C or Command C. Now I'm gonna select all these variants in the layers list except the last one because the last one doesn't need to be connected to any other variant. So I'm gonna select these variants and I'm gonna hit Control V to paste that interaction here. All right, now all these variants have an interaction applied. Now the only thing we need to do is this. We need to select the second one here. We need to head over to interactions, just click on this interaction and open up this drop down menu and just change it to the next variant. And now we need to repeat this process. So the next one should be connected to this one and so on. Make sure to connect them properly. 
So here, as you can see, this variant in the layers list is called 0003, and it should be connected to the fourth one here, 0004. So I'm gonna fast forward this process now. Five minutes later. All right, they are now all connected. I know that it's a long process. Believe me, I tried many different ways to replicate this animation but this is the most efficient one. Before we continue, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about a great tool that's helped me stay organized and collaborate more effectively with my team. It's called Walling. Walling is a visual tool that allows you to create beautifully designed walls to showcase your project deliverables and impress your clients. With Walling, you can quickly collect ideas, notes, files, and links for your new project and organize your project in different wall sections. You can even customize your wall with your own logo and brand colors. And with Walling's collaborative features, you can invite your teams or clients to collaborate with you in real time, add comments, or vote on ideas. Plus, with powerful task management features, you can ditch your old project management app and manage your tasks on the same project wall. Visit walling.app today to create a free account and start organizing your ideas and projects with ease. Thanks Walling for sponsoring this video. All right, now let's go ahead and create a frame right here. I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard to create a desktop frame just like this. I'm gonna change the background color to black. And now we can go to the assets tab and drag and drop this AirPod component into this desktop frame. Let's align it to the center just like this. And now we can just select this desktop frame and just hit play to see how it looks. There it is. Here is our animation. The quality of these images are low because Figma cannot load them quickly one after another. If you really want to get high quality images here in your preview, there is another way you can try. So instead of connecting all these variants here inside this component set, you can create 65 different frames let me just select this, duplicate it. You can just create 65 different frames like this and change the variant on each frame. For example, the first one can be 000. The second one can be 0001. The third one can be 0002. And then you can connect these frames here. I tried it this way and the quality was great. So basically Figma can load all these frames properly when you use this method. It's not that efficient because if you want to put this text behind it, you will face issues. However, at the moment, this is the only way that allows you to preview high quality images in Figma. All right, now let's see how we can animate this AirPods Pro text behind these AirPods. Well, let me get rid of these additional frames here. To create this text animation, we are gonna create a frame. I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard and I'm gonna create a custom size frame. Let's set the width to 1440 and the height to 500. And I'm gonna remove the fill, we don't need that. So here, I'm gonna hit T to create a text layer and I'm gonna type AirPods Pro. All right, I'm gonna change the typeface here to SF Pro. If you don't have it installed on your system, it's fine. You can use any other typeface you want. And I'm gonna increase the font size to 200 and it can be semi-bold, something like this. Let me align it to the center. All right, good. Now I'm gonna select this frame and I'm gonna turn it into a component and just add a variant to it to create a component set. So here we have two different variants. I'm gonna select this text in our second variant. I'm gonna increase its font size to 260, just like this, and again, align it to the center, both horizontally and vertically. And also we need to decrease its opacity down to zero. Next, we need to select this default variant, head over to the prototype tab and just connect it to this second variant. And here, the trigger should be after delay, and I'm gonna set the delay to 1000, like this, and the animation should be Smart Animate, and I'm gonna change the duration to 3000 milliseconds. All right, now I'm gonna select this component set, let's rename it to Text, and here, if I go to the Assets tab, I can drag and drop this Text component, and I'm gonna put it behind our AirPod, and just align it to the center, you can scale the text up as well. I'm gonna select it, hit K on my keyboard to select the scale tool, hold down the Alt and Shift keys on my keyboard and just scale it up a little bit, just like this. 
Then I'm gonna select this AirPod and just move it up a little bit more, somewhere around here. It should work. Let me just scale the text down a little bit. Okay, now it looks good. And now if I just select this desktop and hit play, let's see what we get. All right, just ignore the first preview and hit R on your keyboard to restart the preview. Okay, so here we have an issue. The issue is with the delay that we set right here. I'm gonna select this default variant, head over to prototype and just decrease this delay to 20 milliseconds. And now it should work properly. I'm gonna hit R. There it is. Unfortunately, it's not possible to create the scroll effect for this particular animation since we have 65 different images that should be animated and should be displayed one after another. It's not possible to create the scroll interaction. If you want to learn how to create an advanced scroll animation in Figma, like what you see on Apple's website, make sure to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more designs tutorials. Have an amazing day and see you next time.